you all do look at the graphic like the physics are broken because i threw it so fat it was about to send me into a 360. <laughs> What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to teach you guys how to whip like an absolute pro. You're going to throw this thing fatter than Jared McDeal right here. Overall impression. That sticking with the whip. Oh my goodness. Oof, that was absolutely nasty right there. This so track is called Polita V2 and the jump that I am doing this on is this gigantic tabletop right after the step up right here into the step down jumping down from the step down right now so let's go play by play i land this and when you land this um try to you can land it how you want but personally i like to like angle a little bit already you can go straight it doesn't really matter this is just my way so you're going to come into it a little bit a little bit angled and then as you can see right at this point right after this like first hump or this last hump excuse me you're going to counter steer the bike to the right or the left depending on which way you whip so personally i want to whip to the right so we're going to go ahead and carve it to the right right now and when you're doing that it's just a pretty easy motion obviously just carving up this right here and you want to carve basically the entire time you're carving to the right here and then as soon as you hit the face, like you see how like right here at the face, I'm starting to lean left now, that's going to whip it to the right. And in order to really do that, that's why back here, we countered it to the right is so that now we're turning left and getting that thing to whip to the right. And that's how you counter steer it. Now from here at this point, as you can see there, just carving up the face right there. My body weight is now to the left of the bike it's looking really good here just kind of do a frame by frame and the bike is going to follow my body and here. it is going to throw this thing you're going to keep that thing locked to the left for a crap load of time as long as you feel comfortable without absolutely wadding for me i held it to the left geez for a long time as you can see it really adds that dramatic effect here when your rider is literally sitting on the side of the bike. It is so sick. And then you're just continually holding it. Right at this point, I was like, all right, yeah, this is this is huge. This is a big one. And you're going to want to start to bring it back right there. See, see, this is where the physics messed up a bit. It like screwed me right there. See that? But now I am turning it back to the right and leaning it kind of backwards you can't really tell in the video but i lean back to obviously get that nose knot from diving there and just bring her right on back bang just like that Once you kind of master the technique of just whipping straight out the gate like this and whipping it out like that, you can start to uh, really flick it. And I'll show you basically what I do here. So basically, you're going to come up and I'm standing up this entire time and sit down right before the face. And that's when you get that extra pop. And that's really going to just help bring the bike even more backwards is to sit down right off the face of the jump standing up wheeling like a boss see how my body's standing up carving the jump like i told you earlier sitting down right there oh my goodness that is so fat all right thank you guys so much for watching the video uh leave a like like and subscribe if you are new subscribe button is either down below there or also right here there's right 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 there right right there there right there right there yeah click it click it all right talk to you in the next one thanks guys peace